Hey everyone. Welcome back to another episode of the Profitable Prescription Podcast, hosted by Dr. Murdad Hariri. Join us every week for insightful discussions about the future of pharmacy business. Welcome to Profitable Prescription Podcast, the show that helps pharmacies thrive in an ever-changing landscape. I'm your host, Murdad Hariri, and in today's episode, we are diving headfirst into the new year and the challenges every pharmacy faces, such as DIR fees, contract changes, but fear not, because we'll also discuss how utilizing the right marketing tools can enhance and improve your pharmacy business. So let's get started. The start of a new year is always a time for reflection and planning. And for pharmacy owners and operators, it is essential to stay ahead of the curve. One of the biggest challenges that pharmacies face today is the issue of the DIR fees. These fees can significantly impact your pharmacy's bottom line, making it crucial to find effective strategies for managing them. So what are DIR fees and why are these our concern for pharmacies? Well, we all know DIR fees are, are retroactive adjustment made by pharmacy business ma- uh, benefit managers and is soon to be right at the point of care. So uh, you'll know exactly how much is being deducted from your check or how much money exactly you're making when you are dispensing the medication. These fees can fluctuate, as you know, and can be substantial and can truly impact your pharmacy profitability and navigating these ever-changing landscape of DIR fee is a challenge that requires careful planning and proactive approach. Another challenge often faced in the new year is the changes of contracts with PBMs and the insurance providers. Uh, These changes can include alteration in reimbursement rate, formulary changes, you know, uh, exclusions, Uh, network restriction, lower reimbursement uh, for a lot of these contracts that I have looked at. It's much lower than it was in 2023. And staying on top of these changes is crucial to ensure that your pharmacy remains competitive and financially viable. But here's the good news, though. Effective marketing can help pharmacies overcome these challenges and improve their business. By leveraging these right marketing tools, you can, number one, educate your patient, use your marketing channels, such as your Facebook, Instagram, uh, uh, other tools that may be available to you, uh, such as direct mail, uh, and uh, share with your patients about how these DIR fees are affecting your business. So when the patient understands these issues, of the DIR fees and why you are kind of, you know, uh, asking them to help you with these type of stuff, they can advocate, you know, on your behalf with the insurance company. Not to say that it's going to happen, but at least there's another voice that hopefully the PBM or the insurance companies will hear and maybe you'll have a little bit of impact. Okay. Next thing is promote medication synchronization. Medication synchronization programs can improve patients' adherence and help your pharmacy perform uh, performance become better. And you know that affects your star rating. That will affect your you know compliance. And uh, so use the marketing again, like your Facebook and Twitter and other sources of uh, marketing to get these patients enroll into your program. Put a link on your website. Uh, tell them that you do have a medication synchronization and how easy it is for them to, you know, join this kind of program and the benefits that they may only be making one trip to the pharmacy every 90 days or every 30 days. And, you know, it would help them save money and save time. Next thing I want to talk about is emphasizing personalized services. You know, we all provide custom services or you know, these niche services that we provide to our patients. But, you know, we never really think about it as a way for us to market these to these uh, to our patients. And, you know, uh, truly uh, these type of services can differentiate your pharmacy by emphasizing the personalized care and services you provide. 
Again, use social media, newsletters, and your website to showcase these testimonials and success stories from your satisfied patients. You know, get the, get them to write you a little testimonial. Put it on your Facebook. Maybe make a poster and put them in your uh, or pharmacy so when people come in, they can see, hey, Mrs. Jones says you're the greatest pharmacy on this side of town. And the next thing is leverage technology. So by implementing digital marketing strategies, such as an email campaign and social media advertising to reach a wider audience and engage with your community can truly make a difference. Don't ever discount that, hey, I put stuff on the social media and I never hear anything. I don't see anything. Nobody does anything. Nobody ever mentions it to me because you need to have the right message and the right content and the right resources, and you can get these patients to engage, and uh, that would make a big difference, and hopefully they'll contact you and they ask for more information, and you can provide, provide them these type of services. So in conclusion, the new year brings it its own set of challenges, but with the right marketing tools and strategies, pharmacies can enhance and improve their business by addressing issues like DIR fees and contract changes head on and educating your patient, you can position your pharmacy for success in an ever evolving healthcare landscape. I want to thank every one of you for joining us on an episode of the Profitable Prescription Podcast. We hope you find this information useful and valuable. Stay tuned for more insight and strategies to help your pharmacists thrive in 2024 and beyond. And if you have any questions, or topics that you would like to cover, feel free to reach out, uh, reach us and let us know. So until the next time, have a great holiday, happy new year, and hope you have a profitable year ahead. Thank you. Thanks for tuning into the Profitable Prescription Podcast. If you'd like to be a guest on our show, please contact us with the email in the description, and please be sure to like and share our podcast on your favorite playlist directory. 